गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इस यादव जिग्नेश ही इट्स ए न्यू टॉपिक न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस स्टैंडर्ड टेन यूनिट टू लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन ओके लेट्स फर्स्ट सी देर इज बीन थ्री टर्म एंड फर्स्ट इज लाइट ओके वॉट इज लाइट we can say the variety of object in the world around us are visible due to the light okay let's see the meaning of light light is an electromagnetic radiation light is an electromagnetic radiation which produces which produces sensation which produces sensation in our eyes so it produces sensation in our eyes so we can say light is an electromagnetic radiation which produces sensation in our light uh, in our eyes and second thing is uh, so we can say light is an electromagnetic wave so light wave is called electromagnetic wave another point is it require no medium or it not require any medium or light wave require no medium so we can say let uh, light wave is a non mechanical wave so we can say as yes, light wave is a non mechanical wave first thing electromagnetic wave and it is non mechanical third thing is the speed of light so we can say speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second in vacuum so speed of light is uh 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second in a vacuum so there has been three point of light now ray of light the meaning of ray of light ray of light a straight line path a straight line path joining one point to another in direction of propagation of light a straight line path joining one point to the another in direction of propagation of light is called or is known as ray of light is called ray of light a straight line path joining one point to another in the direction of propagation of light is called ray of light now the another define is or definition is a beam of light beam of light beam means joining of ray of light means group of group of such ray of lights group of such ray of lights is called beam of light is called beam of light okay uh, we can see uh, we can say is it is an electromagnetic uh, radiation which produces sensation in our light it is electromagnetic wave so light is a electromagnetic wave then another thing of light is it is non mechanical means not require any medium then speed of light in a vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second in a vacuum so speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second in vacuum now ray of light a straight line path joining one point to another in direction of propagation of light is called ray of light now another define is beam of light group of such ray of light in group of such uh, ray of light is called beam of light okay now another thing is why light wave is considered as moving along a straight line path okay we can say is yes, why a light wave is considered as uh, moving along with straight line path light wave considered to traveling along straight line path or in a straight line why light wave considered to traveling along straight line path it's because light is an electromagnetic wave 
light is an electromagnetic wave so it has a wavelength and wavelength is around the visible region along its uh, 400 nanometer to 800 nanometer so we can say it is 4 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter to 8 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter so wavelength of visible region in a visible region and it is 4 into 10 raise to minus 7 to 8 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter it is a very short wavelength so we can say as it is very short uh, wavelength for any object to be uh, visible clearly so we can say as it is considered in a, a straight line path wavelength of light wave is 4 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter to 8 into, 8 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter so uh, it is very short for any object so we can say it is uh, considered as moving in a straight uh, line path or for example uh, let's see any example of this kind of very short wavelength uh, okay now take a take any example the great wall of china the great wall of china agar hum uh, china ke construction dekhe to uska construction kuch uh, is type se hai okay agar isko hum 1 kilometer upar se dekhenge koi plane mein space mein se 1 kilometer uh, away from the uh, surface then we can see like this if 10 kilometer away means 10 kilometer upar se dekhenge to aisa dikhega agar wahan se bhi upar agar 20 kilometer upar jayenge aur fir dekhenge to hame wo thoda sa straight line mein dikhega because uski wavelength jaise upar jaate hain uh, bahut short hoti jati hai to same way the light wave has a very short wavelength so we can uh, see like this kind of straight line when we see any light wave so we consider light wave as a traveling along straight line path so that in a very short wavelength we can say that light wave is considered as a moving along or traveling along straight line path hope you get it through the example of the great wall of china 1 km 10 km or 20 km away se dekhenge to hame wo uh, thoda straight line mein dikhenge so same as in a light wave visible region is around 4 into 10 raise to minus 7 to 8 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter it is very short for any object so it is considered as moving in a straight line path now what is a reflection and what is refraction there, there has been two different uh, term one is reflection and another is refraction for that first uh, learn about what is incident ray reflected ray and refracted ray first is incident ray reflected ray and refracted ray okay there has been three term incident reflected and refracted okay now just take uh, any medium uh, upper medium is air medium and down it is water medium there has been two medium now uh, draw any normal now okay it is a water medium upper one is a air medium and down it is water medium now take any ray so uh, uh, any day means jo starting ray hota hai use hum bolte hai incidence ray means jo jahan se nikalta hai jahan se aata hai jo reflection refracted pehla ka jo ray hota hai use hum bolte hai incidence ray means the starting ray or from the start the ray is called incident ray ha agar wo surface ko takra kar 100% wo back aata hai to use hum bolte hai reflected ray means uh, incident ray if uh, coming 100% then it is called reflected ray agar koi wo medium ko okay it is a in a air medium air medium we can go in a air medium to air medium in a reflection 
वेर इन रिफ्रैक्शन इट इज एयर मीडियम टू वाटर मीडियम इट मीन्स वो एयर मीडियम को पार करके वाटर मीडियम में चला गया इंसिडेंट रे तो हम उसे इंसिडेंट रे को हम बोलेंगे रिफ्लेक्ट रिफ्रैक्टेड रे मीन्स हम गए एयर मीडियम टू वाटर मीडियम हियर ए बी इज इंसिडेंस रे इंसिडेंट रे देन बी सी इज रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंड बी डी इज कॉल्ड रिफ्रैक्टेड रे रिफ्रैक्टेड रे में मीडियम चेंज होता है रिफ्लेक्शन रे में मीडियम चेंज नहीं हुआ स्टार्टिंग इज इंसिडेंट रे देन रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंड रिफ्रैक्टेड रे ओके वी कैन से इन रिफ्रैक्शन मीडियम चेंजेस सो वी कैन से इन रिफ्रैक्शन मीडियम इज चेंज हियर द मीडियम इज चेंज फ्रॉम एयर टू वाटर बट इन रिफ्लेक्शन देर इज नो मीडियम चेंज इन रिफ्रैक्शन इज मीडियम चेंजेस फ्रॉम एयर टू वाटर so it is reflection and refraction and now we can show ways of reflection there has been two types of regular and irregular reflection now another term is reflection there has been two ways uh, we can say or we get a reflection reflection of light there has been two types or two ways okay first see what is or how to reflect reflect means it incident ray not cross the surface it is any surface it not crosses the surface and come back in any angle so it is called reflection if the surface is uh, like this parallel or horizontal so it is also reflect incident ray is reflect so it is called a reflection uh, so it don't cross any surface so we can say it is reflection now see two types or two ways of reflection first one is two ways of reflection first one is regular reflection and the second one is irregular reflection first one is regular reflection first is regular reflection and second is irregular reflection now first see regular reflection regular reflection is due to the plain surface plain smooth or shining surface regular reflection when a parallel beam of light incident on a shining plane or smooth surface so it is a smooth plane surface now parallel beam is incident on it and it after reflection in a specific direction it is gone in a specific direction so we can say it is regular reflection here the surface is smooth plane and beam remains parallel after reflection so it is regular reflection due to beam are parallel after reflection now second term is irregular reflection in irregular reflection it has a rough surface or we can say any irregular surface there has been no smooth or shining surface so it is a rough surface and in that the beam does not remain parallel over this surface so these beams are not parallel after reflection so we can say it is irregular reflection beam are not parallel after reflection so we can say it is irregular reflection where in a regular reflection there has been parallel beam after reflection so this is a reflection there has been two types regular reflection and irregular reflection where in a regular reflection there has been a plain smooth and shining surface where parallel uh, beam are remain uh, parallel after reflection where in irregular shape uh, 
there is been a rough surface irregular surface and uh, it is parallel beam are not remain parallel after reflection okay thank you for watching click next for my next part or part 2